The Texas government is sending over $100 million to anti-abortion pregnancy centers and nonprofits meant to help needy families. But our investigation with CBS News found that the program is marked by wasteful spending with tens of millions unaccounted for and very little oversight. Here's some of what we found. State funding in Texas has increased from $5 million in 2005 to $140 million in 2023. But now that abortion is largely illegal in Texas, lawmakers have rebranded the program, which was formerly called Alternatives to Abortion, to thriving Texas families. They say the idea is to help support families that are affected by the state's abortion ban. The program pays four main contractors. Our reporting found that Texas Pregnancy Care Network pays a network of subcontractors certain fees for providing services. For example, subcontractors can make $14 for distributing a couple of diapers. And in some cases, taxpayers are paying this amount even when the subcontractors got the items for free. Distributing a single pamphlet can net the same $14 fee. Our investigation found instances where some organizations are making so much money in the program, they have money left over and others are buying land. The executive director of Texas Pregnancy Care Network said that what the network subcontractors do with the dollars in their bank accounts is not connected to the Thriving Texas Families program. She said once the network pays those subcontractors, it is no longer taxpayer money. But the state's Health and Human Services Commission, which oversees the program, said they disagree. And in fact, those funds are taxpayer dollars. Despite all of this, some Texas Republicans want to give the program even more money. Are you concerned that this program is ripe for fraud? No, I'm not. We should be giving them more resources, not less. The Health and Human Services Commission has never thoroughly evaluated the program's services in its nearly 20 years of existence. At least 18 states are directing taxpayer money to anti-abortion pregnancy centers. In January, the U.S. House passed a bill allowing for federal dollars to be directed to these centers. The bill is currently pending in the Senate. We will continue to report on this topic. So if you've worked at one of these anti-abortion pregnancy centers or you've been a client to one of them, please feel free to reach out to us. And to read more about our investigation, go to the link in bio.